The third man factor is an anomalous phenomenon where people report feeling an unseen presence that comforts them during an extreme or harrowing experience. It's kind of like a hallucination, but it's not disordering, it's actually helpful. Ernest Shackleton first wrote about it in his book about his second expedition to the South Pole called South. The expedition had already been stranded in frozen sea ice for two years. And on the very last leg before they were able to be rescued, him and two other men hiked over 32 miles of dangerous mountain terrain in 36 hours to make it to a whaling station. He wrote, During that long and racking march of 36 hours over the unnamed mountains and glaciers of South Georgia, it seemed to me often that we were four, not three. T.S. Eliot was one of the people who read Shackleton's book, and he alluded to it in some of the lines of his long poem, The Wasteland. Who is the third who walks always beside you? When I count, there are only you and I together. But when I look up ahead the white road, there is always another one walking beside you. And since then, many well-known explorers, adventurers, and survivors of extreme hardship have reported similar experiences. Like some survivors of 9-11 have reported having a third man factor experience. Much of the time, the identity of the presence is unknown to the observer. Sometimes people feel like the unknown comforting presence does have a known identity, like a religious figure or a family member. There's no established single scientific explanation for the third man factor. And it would be difficult to study directly because your experiment would have to make your participants endure extended, harrowing near-death experiences. Religious people are likely to believe that it has a religious or supernatural explanation. But I'm not really much of a believer in the supernatural, so I speculate that it's a hallucinatory coping mechanism brought on by extreme stress.